Hi, my name is Robbie Sherman, and this is Sebastian Croft and Perry the Playgrat. We're here today to announce Bumble Scratch, the musical, and its premiere in the West End as a gala concert performance at the Adelphi Theater on September 4th, 2016. So Sebastian, when you and I first started working together, it was actually on Bumble Scratch. It was for the workshop. Mm. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in show business and eventually got to do Bumble Scratch. Yeah, so the first thing I did was actually an open audition for your dad's show, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Mm. And um, yeah, and I played Toby in that, which is the toy maker's son. And then I went and did Oliver, that was amazing. Yeah, and I did Matilda, and then I, yeah, I did Bumble Scratch, which was, it was good fun. It was the first, it was the first thing I did where I got to, you, so usually you go into a show and they say stand here, set like that, because people have done it before you, but it was the first thing I properly sort of got to originate help with the role and, and yeah. everyone got to kind of, it, it was a great experience, I loved it. So how did you come up with the idea to write a show about rats? Yeah, it's, it's funny because I really can't stand the things except if they're in that form uh, as a puppet. But I was at the Globe Theatre and they had a rack of Playgrat puppets like the one you've got. And I just thought that it was very funny that they were marketing the plague and the fire. And of course, this year marks the 350th anniversary of the Great Fire of London, which is when this show takes place. And I want to believe in love. I want it so much it hurts inside. So, you're probably wondering what Bumble Scratch is about. Robbie, what is Bumble Scratch actually about? Well, Bumble Scratch is about Melbourne Bumble Scratch, the main character, who is a rat living in plague-laden in London in 1665-1666, starting with the Great Plague of London and culminating, the story culminates with the Great Fire of London. And it's a golden time for him because anything is possible. Now, the humans don't particularly like it, but for Melbourne, it's just right. This rat world, you know, they have love, they have plagues, they have kind of Melbourne, who's the kind of swindler who goes around sort yeah. of trying to sell bits and off and sort of avoiding his wife. Mm. You know, you've got Perry, who's this sort of lost kid, but sort of quite excited and young. And I'm, I think it's an interesting story because of that. And I think different people see different connections in different things. And that's why taking something that's not so obvious, like rats, which hasn't been done before, is an interesting thing to watch. Sebastian, you've done some really incredible things in the last year. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you've been up to. So about a year ago, I switched from doing mainly musical theatre and theatre straight plays to then doing film and TV. I've been lucky enough to get a lot of different things. I've done uh, Penny Dreadful, which mm. was quite gory. Um, I've done, I did a film out in Poland called Music War in Love, mm. which is coming out next year. And I was in a TV series called Game of Thrones, which has just recently come out. What's your favorite song? I love, there's an, the end song, which is called Dance, Dance, Dance. I love that song right at the end with Melbourne Perry and a pirate rap, which we meet. Yep. That's very cool. I like that a lot. It's a very good tune. Proper singing and dance. But obviously, at least a rat has got an excuse has to be a Oh, that's a, that's a fun one. That's a good one. At least a rat has got an yeah. excuse. Da, 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 da. At least a rat has got an excuse. Da, 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 da. At least a rat has got an excuse. At least a rat has got an excuse. At least a rat has got an excuse.